Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm starting a journey to convert all my tropical plants to semi-hydroponics. And today we have a Monstera tetrosperma that I've got from eBay. I've tried to clean the roots as best as I could, but still some dirt on, it, on them, but that would be alright. It was delivered in this box with instructions and it was in the mail for two days, but it's in really good shape and I like when it's in really good shape because today I had another delivery for my white princess which I will talk about tomorrow because I need some time to cool myself so yeah we will talk about that tomorrow I will link in the description uh, the link of the seller uh, I think she, she or he has another one left to sell and we will put this in semi hydroponics actually this is more of an experiment now because apparently they are really slow growers so from my experience till now all of the plants that I've put in semi hydroponics they grow up really fast in five seven days ten days and so on so yeah the same principle you only need a pot with some holes on the bottom I choose to make more holes around the pot and obviously the lacquer bits uh, you will put you you will cover you will put lacquer beads to cover this round of of holes this round of holes these holes so you will put a layer on the bottom to cover the holes again put the plant in try to <clears throat> try to sort the roots out not to be too crowded in there and drop the lacquer bead on the top and try as best uh, not to make a mess and lack a bit everywhere especially when you have a dog that is eating almost anything I mean anything this has quite a long root and I'll try to cover them all Give it a shake for the balls to set in place and that's it for this one I have this pot that I will use as a reservoir for the water with the nutrient solution so if you are interested in this water just leave me a message or drop me a comment or and I will make a video about what I'm using and what is working for me so just you should measure the pot to see where the bottom will be so we can drop the water in and everywhere else not only in the pot everywhere else as well And you put it in the pot and that's it. And that's that's it. You have your Monstera in semi hydroponics. So this will be interesting to see <clears throat> how fast she will grow. At the moment she has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven leaves. This is a new growth, so let's see how long it will take for a new leaf 
to pop out. I will give it, I think, seven days or ten maybe. Uh, that was the case with a lot, a lot of plants that I already converted. So yeah, that was it. It's really simple to do. My advice: it's not to fill all the pot or all the way up with leca beads. Because, for example, now in UK or in my area, I have in the house 26 degrees and I've been struggling to keep the humidity up all day because it was dropping under 50 and I usually keep the humidity in the house around 70, 75 and that's a real work actually. And I'm keeping the humidity up by misting the plants. I know that some people are saying that are damaging the leaves or it's not so good to, for example, Alocasia cuprea, red, secret. Apparently it's not good to mist her because she can develop certain disease. I have mine for the last month. She put out five leaves, which are really big and she's doing perfectly fine and I missed all my plants even if I use filtered water you can have some water stains on the leaf but that it's easily easily uh, to remove and you have on my uh, channel I think is the first video it's not brilliant video but I can make another one about a uh, leaf uh, solution leaf solution that it will remove hard water stains so even if you use filtered water I think you'll still have some water stains uh, a thing that I've noticed usually I treat my plants when I'm buying them with neem oil with a solution of neem oil, not only neem oil, not any kind of neem oil, not an organic neem oil, it's a horticultural neem oil. So if you want a video about that, because it's there are more things to say about it, just the same, drop me a comment message wherever and I will make a video about that and I will give you the name of the things that I'm using. So, if you are uh, treating or cleaning your leaves with that neem oil and horticultural, horticultural, I can't pronounce this word, I just can't, soap, so neem oil and soap, a special soap, uh, it will prevent, because uh, neem oil, it's, it's an oil, but it's a bit oily. That makes sense, right? An oil that's a bit oily, right? So it will make like a clear film on the um, on the leaf, and that will prevent the water stains. Uh, and I have to give you an example. Just a second. I'll give you an example. My philodendron pink princess that I've treated with neem oil I don't know if you can see guys but I don't have any water stains and this guy it's getting water sprayed and mist or however you want to call it every day at least five or six times a day and by the way it's a new leaf look at that oh, can't wait to see it yeah so that will prevent, prevent water stains and possibly pests because I know that for some people neem oil didn't work so well but I, I'm doing the, the neem oil thing every two weeks so that has helped me a lot with the water stains and uh, pests for my plants that are still in compost. So yeah, that that's it for today and I will see you tomorrow with my white princess. <laughs> Bye!